Hello, Jenny. Hello, Peter. How are you? Fine. And you? How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Jenny, did you paint those things behind you? What? Did you paint? The... Yes. I, yes. I paint. I have many, many painting, painting. That's good. Is that your favorite hobby? Well, yes. Yes. Many painting. Many. <laughs> and what do you like to paint? I like to paint uh, watercolor, acrylic, and oil. And what do you like to paint uh, pictures of? No, picture, picture. Uh huh. For example, you like flowers or a... rivers, montaña, montaña, mountains, mountains, mm -hmm. mountain, rivers, cascadas, for, falls, waterfalls, correct. Waterfalls. Uh -huh. Okay. And huh? sky, cloudy. A lot of. You like to paint a lot of things. Yes. That's great. And when did you start learning to paint? I, I, in Senar. What do you, in Senar? In, in Senar, in the, uh-huh. Uh -huh. Ah, but uh, when? Uh, in five years ago. Okay. Oh, so you've been painting for for a few years now. Yes, I I painting the signs I was a child. That's good. But okay, so you painted when you were when you started when you were a child and then you went to Senar uh -huh. to learn different techniques. I, yes. I see how. Okay. Good. All right. I see we have a couple more people here. We have Vanessa and Sandra and William. Okay. How are you guys? Everything is okay? I'm a little uh, good night. Good evening. So I'm a little bit sick, but I'm okay now. <laughs> oh no. Are you taking medicine? Um no yet. Just the um jengibre. Ginger? Ginger, yeah, tea. Um manzanilla. Ah, chamomile. Uh, chamomile. Yesterday I was with um temperature or fever. Um for the reason I wasn't able to uh, to assist class, but now um I can I can be <laughs> in the in the class. <laughs> now you feel better. Yes, I feel better. Yes, that's the, the word. Um, I feel better now. That's great. Okay. Thank you. All right, good. Well, we're going to go ahead and continue. We're going to be practicing our speaking. Um, Remember, the speaking is very specific. You have to speak for so many seconds. You have so many seconds to prepare. And then, of course, yeah, this is the hardest part because you have to organize yourself try to give descriptions and make sure that you're explaining with details. That's the part that you have to be the careful with, the most careful with. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at a speaking test that we have here. Let's see it and see if you have any questions. Please listen carefully. Describe a skill you have that will be important for your success in the modern world and explain why this skill is so important. Include details and examples to support your explanation. You may begin to prepare your response after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep.
Okay. So as you can see, that is the idea. That is the structure of the speaking test. You're going to have a few seconds to think about it. You have to organize it. The most important is to make sure that you answer the question correctly. So what was the question? What are they asking you? Let's make sure we understand first. What's the, what's the main idea that they're asking us in the question? The skills in the, that has a success in the modern go. Okay, so what skill did you think of? I think the skill will be important will be important for success is uh, speaking English friendly, know about the technology, practice some soft skills, okay. like resolve problem. Okay. Have empathy. Okay, very good. Good. Sandra, what about you? What skill do you think is important? Well, almost the same. Um, but one of, of the skills I have is uh, loving um, different languages. And I, I, um, I consider it, it is important because uh, not all the time I will be in El Salvador. Sometimes I will go to traveling. I will, I will go traveling to the United States or sometimes in Europe. And I I will not be afraid of speaking in English or French or German or or Italian or or Portuguese. And so uh, whatever I go, I can develop by myself uh, with people there. Okay, all right, pretty good. So this is similar to uh, what we're being asked. Now, what do we have to do that's different? The difference is that we're not interacting with a person. We're interacting with a computer. And when you interact with a computer, you have to be ready that the person that is only going to have this question and they're going to listen. So what are they going to listen for? Well, they're going to listen for the skills that you talk about. They're going to listen to how it affects the modern world. They're going to listen to why for you it's important. Then they're going to listen to the details and the examples that you give about that skill and why it's important. That's the heart that you have to be clear of when you're speaking. It's not only like when you're talking to a friend, right? You have to be clear. You have a few moments, boom, 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 boom. Always give the details. If you finish your ideas or you're, you don't know anymore, change the topic, go to another skill. Always be prepared to ask or to talk about two or three things that they ask you, right? So if you're talking about English, perfect, okay? So English is a very important skill and then you'd start to describe why. How does it affect the modern world? Okay. Uh, give some details, some examples. For example, try to use business. Try to use locations. For example, El Salvador uh, uses the dollar, even though we don't have, and even though we're not the United States. And that's why it's important to know whatever. You can include finance, education, um, YouTube, uh, social media, whatever you want. But the important is integrate all of the different aspects into your answer. Are we ready? Okay, so in this moment, we're going to practice and we're going to have our partners and we're going to practice. Remember, use the timer, watch your partner. Don't give them too much time, only 45 seconds. Use the clock that you have to make sure that it's correct. Okay, always set it up, that way it's correct. That way they, you know that they only have 15 seconds to prepare and then they have uh, 45 seconds to answer. Are we ready? Sorry, teacher, I'm having connections. Catherine. Okay, Catherine, no problem. Let me put here. Okay. We'll put Catherine a different name. Okay. All right. So um, the rest, we're going to make our groups. Any questions before we begin? No, teacher, everything is clear. Okay, perfect. Then let's try it. Let's make sure. Hang on. Perfect.
Uh, hi, teacher. I I think uh, William is having some problems. I don't know. I, I was trying to talk to him, but he didn't respond to me. Okay. Thank you for telling me, Julia. Let's change his name and let's move you to another group. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yep. No problem. Okay. Uh, let me uh let me uh turn on the uh timer. <clears throat> so I'm going to start. Okay. Okay, now. Uh, oh, wait. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start. Uh, personally, I think that one of the essential skills for success in the modern world right now is to learn things uh, fast because uh, you are because we are in a world that we need to uh to acquire a lot of information at the same time so we have to uh and we have to have an ability to uh, learn things at the same time also i think that to be able to be a multitasking person is a really a important ability for example uh currently i'm working oh my god I I spoke forty seconds in forty five seconds and that time was over. <laughs> yes, mm. one minute. <laughs> one minute. Yeah, I didn't finish uh the idea that I was trying to. In my in my, in my case, I think that a skill that I uh, have and uh, that after the big. My... Okay, oh, sorry. After the big. After, okay. after the beep. Okay. Sorry. Describe the skill. The audio is very slow. Yes. There is no audio. No? No. No. Can you hear? No. Okay. No. Uh, I when forget. You, when where... you share the screen, you have to yes. click. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> I forgot. Explain why this skill is so important. Include details and examples to support your explanation. You may begin to prepare your response after the beep. Well, in my case, uh, the skill is important. Uh, for no me. yet, no yet. Oh, uh, sorry. Okay. Please begin speaking after the beep. Okay, Carlos. Well, in my case, uh, a skill important for me is that, uh, that I am very uh, uh, open mind in the with the with the decisions that the company takes. Uh, it means that uh, if they want to change uh, something that we do uh, in the as we do before and now they can they want to change so i am able to uh, to do that uh, that uh, changes and i think this is, is very important because uh, nowadays you the the, the industries as are changing a lot and you have to to move uh, with them uh, so uh, in my case is my 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 my, okay. my skill yes you take the time sandra yes okay oh. <laughs> you forgot 50, 56 56 seconds okay uh -huh. okay uh -huh.
Okay, welcome back. Pretty good. A couple of things that we need to improve in most groups is the timing. Remember, you have to be careful with your timing. You only have 45 seconds. If you continue speaking, it's not recorded. It has. It doesn't matter if you have the best answer. If it's after 45 seconds, it's a zero. No points. Nothing is recorded. And the moment that it begins, beep, it begins recording. If you wait and you are silent, you are losing time. And the more time you lose, the more points you lose. So you have to learn to practice when they go beep. Well, I think that in that moment, boom, you begin speaking. When you have 45 seconds, boom, you have to stop. If you didn't finish your idea, you have to speak faster. You have to organize your ideas better in the beginning. That is the hardest part. But the more you practice it, the better you're going to get at it. That's the good thing. That the more you practice, the better you get. Now, today we're going to listen and we're going to prepare the other types of questions that we have. Now, what are the others? The other types are from reading a passage and listening to part of a lecture. Okay. So for these, we have different types of questions, always speaking, but a little bit different. Okay. Let me share my screen with you so that we can get it. Okay. So here's a different type of question in the speaking exam. Okay. Right here, the peak. Uh, Vanessa, can you please read? Sure. Um, the peak and rule describes a theory that humans judge past experiences based upon a single high moment and the end of the event rather than judging by a sum of the event in its entirety. Whether that big moment is good or bad, coupled with their feelings at the end of the event, determine their overall perception of an experience being pleasant or unpleasant. Okay, good. So let's take a look and let's see. what are, That is the passage that we have. That is the information. Now here we have parts of a lecture. Then we have to explain it. So here we have two paragraphs. Who's going to read the first paragraph? Me, Sandra. Thank you, Sandra. And who's going to read the second paragraph? May I begin? Yes, Sandra. Wait, who's going to read the second paragraph? Uh, me, teacher. Okay. Evelyn. Evelyn. Okay, thank you. Go ahead, Sandra. Okay, as you can see from the textbook, the pick and release our theory that describes how humans hedonically evaluate a past experience by its most intense points and its end. In other words, we when we remember a particular experience, we don't look at the whole picture, but instead look at its very best, worst, or most intense moments. It's, it's from those things that we evaluate the entire experience. It's like reading a story and judging it by its most exciting point and by its ending. Everything else is just white noise. That's what we do with our past experiences, whether they are good or bad. Thank you. Okay, okay. And I know this from experience. When I think about high school, I recall when my friends and I were skipping a school one afternoon, the cardinal don't fight between rival gangs. I remember the security guard who cut through the hallways and left us in stitches with his jokes. I remember a new teacher was cut off in short order. And this and other high points are what I judge years of high school by. I don't factor in the average of ordinary middle part, though they made up the bulk of the entire experience. In fact, I barely remember those, but the peaks and highlights, good and bad, and the end, now those I remember vividly. Okay, so now that we have this, we have the lecture, we have the information, let's take a look. What are they asking us to do? Okay. Carlos, what are they asking us to do? Mm 
Okay, Carlos disappeared. Rafael, what are they asking us to do? Okay, I think Rafael, Carlos, are you having problems? Okay, it seems like they're having some problems too. Okay, so I'll help you guys out. Okay, uh, what is our question? The question is explain peak and rule and how the example used by the professor illustrates this concept. So we're gonna have to explain two things. One, we need to explain what is peak and rule. Two, we need to summarize the examples used. Okay, and then why it's important or why this illustrates the concept. So we need one, two, and then the details. What is peak and rule? What is the example that they give? And how does that example illustrate peak and rule? So how can we have it? Well, peak and rule is the idea that you judge things not by little parts, but by the whole. The important events or events that are great or events that are bad. And you also judge it by the end. In the case of the professor, he's describing moments in high school. He didn't remember most of the days, which is part of the peak and rule that you don't remember. And that's the idea. You begin to, 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 what it is, what are the examples, what are the illustrations? What do they describe? That's the most important. Now, this is the third type of question, which means that you have to pay attention. You have to be clear in the concepts, and then you have to explain not only the concept, but also paraphrase the examples that they gave you. So that many times when I say, what did your partner say? Que dijo tu compañero? Oh, no me acuerdo. It's not going to work. That's a zero. That's where you have to practice. You have to practice listening to your partner because it's going to be those short things that are going to help you in the exam. Listening for short moments and being able to explain what the person said. All right, let's take a look. Jefferson, what did I say? Um, you were saying that we need to pay attention uh, in order to, to, then we have to explain the idea and provide details, I think. Yes, yes. Always remember to provide details. If they don't ask you why, Jews explain why. Always all the questions are with why. They are, you are considered, it's considered mandatory. It's not, I'm going to ask you why. Did you go to work today? Yes, I did. Why? No, you have to explain why. Why did you go to work today? What was the purpose? Always imagine that the questions are asking you why so that you can give details in your answers. Okay, are we ready to practice that question? Yes. Yes. Yes, okay, perfect. So give me a second. Let me copy it and paste it in the chat just in case you need it. Okay. Remember, watch the time. If your partner has 45 seconds, stop them. Stop them. Don't, don't let them continue speaking 50, 56. No, they have to learn how to speak faster and more information in the time because they're not going to have more time in the exam. They have 45 seconds. If they use it, good. If they lose it, that's their problem. That is the most difficult part about the exam. It's not about, oh, I'm going to, no. You have to speak quickly and get your ideas clearly very fast. Okay. All right, let's take a look. Carlos, can you spark, can you participate? Can you speak? Because I know you had problems answering when I asked you to read. Okay, so Carlos, no. Guys, remember when you can't participate, just put oyente at the beginning. Uh huh. That way we have. Don't worry, Carlos. I see you have some problems. Uh huh. With your microphone. Don't worry. We're gonna put oyente at the beginning. Who else was the other person? I think that was um Rafa, right? Rafa, can you speak?
Rafa, no. Okay, so Rafa is another one who has problems with the microphone or with the internet. Okay, don't worry. We'll change it to make sure. Okay, so let me make these rooms one more time. Okay, everybody has the link? Everybody open the link? Yes? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Daniel, do you have problems? Okay, I'm going to change Jefferson. But this chat don't have this chat. I don't have that. Uh -oh. uh -oh. In this chat, isn't the link okay thanks do hey, you have it now yes okay i'm going to share i try to share okay read the passage from the textbook you have 50 seconds to read the passage begin reading okay rule. As you can see from the textbook, the pecanned rule is a theory that describes how humans hedonically evaluate a past experience by its most intense point and its end. In other words, like relate like um what you remember about the the Oreo, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. We have to 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 be with a a, a lot of retentive, you know. I don't know how to say yes. that in English. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. The um, if you can please um play the Oreo so we can like get started. Okay. Play it. Security guard left us in stitches with his jokes. I remember a new teacher we scared off in short order. And these and other high points are what I judge years of high school by. I don't factor in the average or ordinary middle part, though they made up the bulk of the entire experience. In fact, I barely remember those. But the peaks and highlights, good and bad, and the end. Now, those I remember vividly. Explain peak end rule and how the example used by the professor illustrates the concept. Uh, okay, I don't know. Do you start first or me? I have you. the timer. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Do you have ready the timer? Because we have, I think, one minute. Yes. Okay. Okay, here we go. Um, for what I can understand about the lecture in the in the audio text is that the big, uh, big end is like like uh, we just focus and on um <laughs> we just focus in important events that we can remember because uh we experience a lot of things but there are some events that makes that makes uh make us remember the most uh, for what i remember about the lecture is that some uh events that i like intense like uh, the 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 speaker was talking about that she was involved in a gunfire. She just remembered the most um, 
uh, the most intense moment of that, of that, uh, of that story. But she didn't remember the whole thing, and I and I think that the main, uh, the meaning of this word, the big end, that we just don't don't remember everything, but just a small part. And that's what we can uh, tell to others. They they ask us about some import, some uh, about the situation. Mm. And I don't know. Ah, <laughs> oh, but I got lost. <laughs> okay, and you go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> uh, the peak and roll is a theory based based in a experience as past events. The past event are good or, or or bad, and the the story explain a, a a event in the school a bad event because the the person ha, was a bad moment. Yeah, you still and, have time. <laughs> 15 seconds. Ah. The gun split shot in the school. Nice, <laughs> I, I think. Uh, okay, the time is over. <laughs> Record or opinion. Mm, okay. Hey, Daniel, Fatima, you are back, huh? Hey, teacher. So you're having some problems today, huh, Daniel? Yeah, we have a problem. Okay. Uh, and can I use the mic right now? But I'm listening. Okay, so Anna, we need to put also or oh, yen. Yeah, Jesse, Jesse. Share, share the screen, just please. Let's see. Can Hello? you hear me? Yes. Can you can you share the, the screen? Uh, what do you want to see, Daniel? Daniel, what do you want to see? What is the link? Oh, the link is a, is a question choose to engage in charity education. To, uh, that is. No. But no. we are finished. We are already finished. But it, it's, uh-huh. Okay, so in the second one, it the link is in the chat. One more time. There you can take a look if you didn't get it, Daniel. All mm -hmm. right. Okay. So in this second time, we have to be a little bit more careful. I listened to some other people, and you're making a couple of mistakes. Uh, in general, remember, no Spanish. There is no Spanish, not even for a moment. No, eh, 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 no uh, I, I mean, no, no Spanish. The moment you speak Spanish, that means you cannot speak English. You cannot separate Spanish and English. It's like going to the bathroom. You go to the bathroom, you take a shower. You don't mix the two. Right? When you take a shower, you take a shower. No, you go to the bathroom in the shower. So it's the same idea. Because if you are mixing the two, you are not going to get the points and you are not going to pass. The most important is focus in the question, organize your ideas, and keep it in English. Okay. Sometimes it's difficult. I know that's why we practice. It's really difficult, especially with pressure, especially with pressure. It's very hard. Okay. So always you have to be prepared in the moment. So today that's what we're going to practice. So as an example, Fatima Portillo, uh, some people like junk food and some people like healthy food. Which one is better and why? Okay. So I have to start now, right? Or I have to wait for, okay. Yeah, okay. So some, pe mm -hmm. okay. some people rather to eat, eat some junk food uh, because it's better in the, if you consider that the flavor of the junk food, it's better than the healthy food, maybe. But in the on the other hand, some people rather to eat health food because you know there has there are many benefits to eat eating to eat healthy food instead of eat junk food. For example, if you eat healthy food, if you eat, if you eat health food, you can be healthier than people who eat junk food. 
So you can... Uh, okay. Thank you very much. Okay. okay. So kind of the ideas. Now, Fatima, what did you, you need to do, Fatima? Organize your ideas, right? At the beginning, you started to speak and speak, but you were mixing your idea. I, 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 voy por aquí, voy por acá, voy por acá. That's why you need to take that few moments at the beginning. Those few seconds is that. How are you going to speak? Don't think about your answer. Don't think all of the sentence. Think about ideas. First, talk about healthy food. Then talk about junk food. Then compare healthy food and junk food. Then describe which one is better for me and why. You, that is the idea of when you begin. So when you begin, the important, those few seconds is for that. The few seconds is to help you organize your idea. Is that okay? Yeah, okay, teacher. Thank okay. you. Okay, you're welcome, you're welcome. So what are we going to do? Just like Fatima, um, you are going to have partners. You are not going to tell your partner. You ask them the question, 15 seconds and boom. That's it. Just like Fatima, I'm not going to share my screen. In fact, I'm going to remove the ability to share screen. No sharing screens. You have to listen to your partner and answer. Okay? So you're going to choose different questions. Your partner is going to have 15 seconds, like I gave Fatima. And then you watch the time and give your partner 45 seconds to answer. And you push you push your, your partner. You pressure them. Go, 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 go. Continue. Organize. Listen to your partner. Is it logical what they are saying? Is it making sense? Or they are only speaking and speaking the same thing and return to the same and return to the same. What ideas did you understand? Also, you need to be able to explain what your partner said. Open the two links. Yancy, open the two links. That way, when we go to the groups, you don't get lost. Make sure you open those two links. Daniel, do you have those links? No, yet, please. Uh -huh. Wait. Don't worry. That's why we have the two links there. Okay. And just like Fatima, do you want one more example or it's okay? It's okay. It's okay, Yancy. Okay. Anybody have any questions? Don't be scared. It's okay. If you have a question, you can ask. Isn't It's okay to ask questions. Okay, so select it, make sure that you have it. We want to make sure we have a couple of these orientes. Okay. Daniel, can you speak now? Is everything okay? No, Daniel is still having problems. Okay, no problem. The important is so that I know, so I know where to put everybody in the groups. Okay, let's practice. Remember, you're going to practice only 15 seconds. And your partner has to think, and then 45 seconds. And then the other partner, not the same question. Change the question. Change the topic. Everybody has different questions. Then change another. So we're going to practice it. We should practice it three times. Three times me, three times the other person, right? So if Jancy is my partner, I'm going to ask her. She's going to ask me. We have enough time to practice it three times. Uh, Catherine, do you have a question? I'm ready to participate now, teacher. I fixed my issue. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. And let me change it. Where's Catherine? Okay, hang on a sec. Okay, thank you for letting me know, Catherine. So now we can have everybody practice.
Ah. Yeah. Catherine. And Catherine, can you hear? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Uh, have you chosen already the the questions that you have to do? Yeah, I have already my question. Yes. Okay. Who wants to begin? Okay. You can ask me if you want. Okay. You can ask me if you want. Okay, let okay. me ask you. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. And I, do you think there are aliens somewhere in space? <laughs> so I have 15 seconds, right? Yeah. Okay. Let me know when the 45 seconds will start, okay? Okay, you can start now. I'm going to. Oh, time. I don't have it. Okay. So. No, for, 45. Uh, 45 seconds, yes. Okay, so um, aliens like we know as movies, I don't think so because we know that movies get um, everything uh, like like movies, like everything is imaginary, everything is like bigger than we thought. So, um, but I mean, maybe another is um, uh, not humans, but any other uh, things or outside of the planet, I think they are because some, uh, I was watching Discovery Channel once and I was able to see that we have a lot of planets outside and the galaxy is huge. So I don't think we are the only ones here. I mean, not just in Earth. Maybe we have another life in another planet. Not as we know, but maybe in another kind of species or maybe on another kind of um, ways or shapes or maybe like that. Okay, your time is up. <laughs> okay. Okay, just be careful with the time because the time you, you have to learn how to manage it. Um, don't give her too much time and don't take away time. So make sure that always is put the timer 15 seconds so she has 15 seconds to prepare and then start. And then she has 45 seconds. Don't allow her to get more time to speak. Very good. A little bit uh, unusual, Evelyn. You're mixing some ideas that we need to organize. You started talking about aliens and then others and then about a show and then about other planets. So your ideas are you have to get them a little bit more organized. Remember, try to make them into a logical sequence. Okay. okay. Great. Okay, now you have the idea. The same thing for the other partners. 15 seconds, 45 seconds speaking. Go ahead. Okay. And the bad thing is uh, the person uh, has a uh, uh, addicts for for fam fame for drugs or alcohol or others others. Mm -hmm. Oh, time's up. Now, if you wish, you can ask me any question. I think we have the time to practice. What will the future be like? Oh my god. Um okay. Uh let me know when you have the timer. Do I start now or start? Sure. For me, the future it has to be better than the past. I know that there are many things that need to be corrected and in the future, um, I believe uh, life is gonna be better. I really hope that we can have um, like new technologies that helps uh, as many people as possible because in the past there, there was like uh, very few knowledge or at all about many disease um, now we have the knowledge we even went to to the space to another planet and that is really fantastic at the same time um, kind of worried because of 
um, the pollution that it is happening right now because we as people need to learn to take care of our own bodies and also Maybe. the environment. Oh, time's over? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Pretty good. Pretty good, Jenny and Helen. Uh, more very nice, Helen, trying to organize your ideas and describe it. Helen, for you, <laughs> the most important is you have a lot of buffers. You have a lot of... um eh, uh, <laughs> So you have to be careful because you use a lot of your time with those fillers, those types of words, and you're going to lose points. If you're noticing that you're doing it, it's better close your mouth. Instead of going, uh, just close it and then mm -hmm. answer the next one. That way you don't lose points, okay? All right, thank you. You're welcome. And Jenny, for you, you have to speak more and you have to practice a lot more. You're speaking very slowly and many words you are not pronouncing correctly. So it's important that you practice more pronunciation of words because it's difficult to understand when you are speaking for long periods. Okay? Okay. All right. Good. Go ahead. Continue. You have time to practice two more. One more Helen, one more Jenny. All right. Um, tell me, um, Jenny, what is speak you need to speak more but you um exercise do exercise speaking and speaking okay yes okay. yeah and actually, another <laughs> okay we have two minutes yeah I, I think you can ask me another question and i'm going to answer okay you choose other Yeah. Okay. For you, I ask mm -hmm. you, um, where are there, where are there many children in your family? Where are there many children in your family? Okay. Well, no, it's a question. Were there okay. are many children in your family? Yeah, I'm thinking. You about have a 50 where... seconds? Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. I, I eliminate the, the time. Okay. Okay, start. 50 okay. Second. No, 50, 50 second. Okay. Okay, stop. And you start now. Okay. Actually, there are no many chats in my family. Uh, it's funny because I was the only girl in my family until I was 12 years old. Uh, I remember that I used to spend time with my cousins. Uh, I have three cousins, three boys in my family, but the rest of my child, the rest of the child of my family live uh, far away from me. So actually, and basically uh, I was alone. So I was the only girl in my family until I got 12 years old, until my little sister born. Then actually, basically, we were um, only two girls in the family. Okay, the time is over. The time is over. Okay, okay. issues. Yeah, but actually we have only 50 se 15 seconds, so I don't guess we have enough time to, to ask um, you. What okay. topic do you issue? Okay. Yeah, but actually. Okay, guys, thank you very much. I am glad that we're trying. We're getting some ideas for it. It's going pretty well. We do need to practice, especially preparing. You need to prepare yourself with your questions and you need to prepare yourself with your time. Some of you spent 
two minutes only to select a question. You're looking at it um, uh, uh, and the time is going. And then others, the, the time for your partner, 15 seconds, whoo, almost one minute you gave your partner to think. They're not going to have that. Remember, you need to help them by making sure you do exactly like in the exam. In the exam, it's a computer. It's not a friend. It's not a person. You have 15 seconds, beep, begin. Ready, not ready is the partner's problem. They have to have the pressure. They have to get ready, like the alarm. 5.30 in the morning, estoy cansado. Bleep. You got to wake up, you got to wake up. You have to be prepared at that time. The exam is not easy. Believe me, many Salvadorians don't pass because they are not used to the pressure. They're not used. They finished the pies 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago. This is like the pies, except it's more because you have exactly minutes for each activity. And if you don't take the advantage, boom, you lose the points. So we're going to change partners. We're going to try it one more time and we're going to see. Okay. Okay. So select your questions, get yourself ready, make sure you are prepared, have your timer, make sure you have 45 seconds and the 15 seconds, use the timer correctly. Okay, are we ready? Yes. 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 Okay, yes. I'm going to listen in the groups. You have to have your questions ready. You have to have your timer ready. Enter the group, boom, begin immediately. Nice. Uh, hi, Vanessa and teacher. <laughs> hi. <laughs> okay. So, who wants to start? Vanessa, she couldn't answer my question. Oh. <laughs> yes, you have to, you must answer my question. Okay, can you please remind me the question, the question? Okay, the question is, can you eat anything? Oh, okay. Okay, your time starts. Okay, um, we can eat anything, yes. But remember that the consequences are going to be in the future. I think that um, if we eat in a healthy way, we are not going to have too much troubles with our health in the future. But if we are disorganized with our food, like junk food, uh, we're going to have problems with our blood uh, pressure. So we are going to have a lot of issues with our uh, with our health. Uh, for the reason we had to be careful. Okay, we can eat everything, but not anything is going to be okay for our, for our body. Okay, time's up. <laughs> okay, Vanne, pretty good. What you need to work on is giving examples, Vanne. You explain the same thing, 45 seconds. It's good, it's good, but it's no, no anything. No anything is good. Anything good, but no anything. No anything good, <laughs> but it's good. No, Vane, you need to give examples. For example, uh, eating so-and-so is healthy or is unhealthy, or you can eat a hamburger uh, as long as you don't eat it constantly. Every day is a bad thing because it is going to affect your, you need to give the examples. You already gave your idea. You already gave your answer. You said, yes, you can eat anything. Now, why? What are the examples? Mm -hmm. always, always, you have to give the explanation why. Okay. No, no repeat the same. Okay. Okay. All right, continue. Okay. Appears the no the other other number number uh huh over there uh huh. So oh, you have another question for me? I act act. Uh -huh. 
How do you do a painter? Uh, speaking about painting, um, I like to paint, of course, and I like to draw, but uh, I'm not a professional in doing that. Uh, so uh, I believe I, I could uh, I could look for a, for a school where I can learn how to do it uh, because uh, really it, it is good in in our in our free times to to do something uh, that that is like a, a, a very nice uh, practice you know uh, your your mind is is very uh, it is not thinking bad things uh, there is no time for that. And that is why uh, I would like to learn how to paint any day. How many how many seconds did I spoke? Did I speak any? I I said. Huh? <laughs> what other question? Ask me. Jenny, what about the time? Jenny, you have to watch the time. It's not a conversation. It's, you have to check the time for your partner. 45 seconds, you have to tell your partner, stop. Do you have a timer, Jenny? Yes. Okay, so remember to use it. When your partner finishes, the 45 seconds, the partner not continue speaking. Hey, stop, that's it. The partner finish or not finish, that's too bad. 40, that, 45 that seconds. 45 is the max, remember? 45. 45. Okay, and um, how many alphabets are uh, uh, bad for our health? Even though if uh, you can see it on the sponsors uh, about the cigarettes and everything. So maybe you can start from there, from that point, watching the pictures and everything, that, what you can gain if you quit smoking. So then you can start just for a few uh, steps. Time's no. over. Okay. Nice. Now, I will put the 15 seconds. Okay. And my question is, What you do? What do you usually do for Valentine's Day? Fifteen seconds now. Okay, fifteen seconds over. Now forty-five seconds now. All right. In the past, I used to celebrate Valentine's Day with just my friends. Um, maybe we tend to go to a beautiful place just to have fun, to eat something delicious to a restaurant. But since this year, I started, um, I have a boyfriend, so we spent Valentine's Day together. Actually, we went to work. <laughs> if <laughs> We have to work and we need to spend the day uh, right there but in in the in the job they also try to make a special um thing for us like giving us something delicious like time is with up. different decorations oh time is up right. <laughs> nice all right um just let me put 15 okay the time is okay <laughs> You don't that's have a secret, okay? <laughs> I understand. That's a, that's a difficult question. Okay. Yes. I think we have, I think we have uh, time for another one. Mm. Okay, thank you very much for practicing. Tomorrow is going to be the last day that we practice the speaking. Remember, the most important is the time. Watch your time, give your details. Time, details. These are the two things that are going to help you to get more points. Okay? Okay, thank you. Have a great thank night. You.
See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.